Welcome to Seven Minutes at the Master's Feet. It's so wonderful to sit at the feet of Jesus, to take that time away from our busy schedule and busyness of life to sit at His feet. And it's at the feet of Jesus where He speaks to us where He strengthens us, where He gives us times of refreshing, where He gives us wisdom, hallelujah, and where He transforms us, hallelujah. Today I would like to continue on this great secret of how to advance in life because everybody wants to get higher and higher in life. The secret, as I mentioned last week, is revealed in Psalm 91, verse 14. It's good to go over that again. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. So God promises that those who know his name, he will set them on high. He will promote them. He will advance them. So this is the great secret one of the great secrets of how to advance in life. Know God's names. And as I explained last week, the name, knowing the name in the Bible means knowing the characteristic of that person. So God wants us to know his characteristics, know uh, the things he has done, what he's capable of doing, his nature. Okay, so last week I uh, did one name that I loved. Commander. As we study God's Word, we will get to know more and more characteristics. We will know more of His names. What do we do with that? What do we do? I mean, just know it intellectually? No, I'll show you what to do with it. John 4, 23 and 24. I will read that. And this is, these are the words of Jesus speaking. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. That was John 4, verse 23. Now I go to John 4, verse 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must, must worship him in spirit and in truth. So God wants us to worship him in spirit, with the help of the Holy Spirit, and in truth. Truth means according to the Word of God. So when we learn about God's characteristics, God wants us to worship Him. Worship Him with the help of the Holy Spirit and according to the Word of God. So as we learn the names of the Lord, we have to put it into practice, put it into worship. Okay, Uh, another name of Jesus that I love is found in John 7, 23. I will read that. If These are the words of Jesus. If a man on a Sabbath day receives circumcision that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? And so he's, he's saying, I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day. And I love that phrase, every whit whole. That means every nook and cranny, every aspect of that person I've made whole, healthy, sound, nothing broken, nothing missing. So that means that Jesus made the man physically, emotionally, spiritually well and healthy. Now from this, I have made a name for the Lord. I call him the every wit whole physician. So this is what is known as a figurative name. You look at the characteristic, the words of the Bible describe that characteristic, and then you you make a name out of it. And so Jesus was saying he's capable of making making a person every wit whole. And so the name I have given him is the He's the every whit whole physician. (laughs) He's the physician that can make us every whit whole. And so I praise the Lord for that. Jesus, Jesus, I worship you. 
I worship you. I adore you. You are the great physician, the every whit whole physician, the physician that can make man every whit whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every nook and cranny, you can make him whole. Everything about him or her, you can make whole. Physical, uh, physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Hallelujah. You're the great physician. So notice I have praised his name. I have praised his characteristic of being a physician who has the power to make a person every whit whole. Now I can now move into making a spiritual request based on this characteristic. So I've started off the prayer by worshiping him, praising him for that. Now I move into a spiritual request, which is much different from a carnal request. So after I've praised and worshiped him for being an every whit whole physician, I say, oh Jesus, Jesus, I need you. I need you. You're the every whit whole physician. This is the kind of physician I need. Make me whole, every whit whole, financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, hallelujah, every bit of my person absolutely whole, everything about me whole. I don't just want to be physically whole, I want to be emotionally whole, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to be financially whole, hallelujah. I want to be spiritually whole, hallelujah. I want everything about me, uh, my relationship with you, my spiritual relationship with you to be whole, hallelujah. I want my emotions to be whole. I don't want to have any broken pieces, any sorrow in my heart, any uh, inner needs for inner healing. I want everything to be healed. Ha <laughs> ha, Hallelujah. Jesus, you're the every whit whole physician. I need you. I need you. Minister to me as the every whit whole physician. Make me every whit whole financially, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. In Jesus' name, amen.